Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain uh, a circuit called DAC that is digital to analog converter. So the inputs are digital inputs and uh, my circuit will convert that digital input into the analog output. So I have selected uh, a 4 bit R2R DAC. So here 4 bit data will be applied 0000 to 1111 and uh, equivalent analog output we need to get. So my circuit is R to R DAC. That means uh, R means resistor R. To R means twice the value of resistor R. So these are the only two values of resistor. What I'm, uh, what we have to put in the circuit. Only either R or to R. Maybe 1K and 2K, or maybe 2K and 4K, something like that. The formula to calculate the output voltage, the analog output voltage, is given by this formula here, where V R E F is a reference voltage. Maybe 5 volt, maybe 10 volt, whatever you can choose, no problem. It is multiplied by A times D3 plus 4 times D2, 2 times D1 plus D0, where D3, D2, D1, D0 are my the inputs. So like uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1, 1, 1, divided by a 4 bit number here, 2 power 4, that is 16. So 8, 4, 2, 1 are the weights of those particular numbers starting from MSB to the LSB. So I have calculated already the theoretical voltages, what we are expecting by putting into this particular formula. So if it is 0, output should be 0, obviously it should be 0. If it is 0, 0, 0, 0001, it is 0 0.3125. If it is 0010, 0 0.625. Similarly, if the inputs, all the inputs are made high, 1111, then it is 4.6875 is the output voltage, what we are expecting from the circuit. Okay. Now, if I go to the circuit, so I have already, uh, you know, uh, constructed a circuit over here. As I told here, say this is in the series arm, I have a resistor which uh, the value equal to 1K. In the parallel R, the resistor value equal to 2K and there is a feedback from output to the input with a value equal to 1K. And uh, uh, this resistor network uh, connected to the uh, positive terminal of the op amp and here I am getting the output voltage. I am using switches here, switches here, SPDT switches here for uh, supplying the inputs either 0 or 1. Now let me uh, start with a new uh, uh, project. I will take a new project here. Okay, I need uh, resistors and uh, components which we will uh, choose. Okay, I have already have uh, now PAM 3D virtual. This is uh, comes under the directory analog group analog. Under that analog virtual, PAM 3D virtual you can choose. Fine, I can I can place it over here. I need uh, resistors which are available in the basic uh, group resistor. Uh, somewhere here, yes, choose uh, resistor, any value, no problem here. So I need uh, three 1K resistors, which I'll place in series. I need uh, around five resistors in the parallel R, which I'll place here. Okay, one more. Fine, so I need uh, the source uh, that is supply, I go to source, that power source, under that clock, I can choose uh, this one, uh, power, power sources, under that you can choose DC power, fine, I will place it here, then I need switches, for that I will go to switch option, under that I will choose SPDT switch. I need four switches, so let me place those switches one by one. Okay, third one, third input, the fourth input. I also need one uh, multimeter to measure the output voltage. This is available under the uh, group that is analog. Uh, under that, uh, sorry, this is not. Okay, analog under that it is sorry, this is I think available in the category. Uh, this one indicator under that uh, voltmeter you can choose, voltmeter B you can choose. Fine, this, uh, this can also be placed over here. I think uh, done with uh, all the components. I'll uh, close this, I'll place it properly. Okay, now uh, 
I had one more resistor actually in the feedback path. So uh, let me copy this and paste it over here. The feedback path. Okay, let me start the connection. So this has to be connected to this terminal. Okay. Another one. So all are connected uh, in series. So these have to be connected in the parallel. So let me rotate all these resistors. Place it properly. Okay, this is another one. So this has to be connected uh, here to the junction. One more. Okay, no problem. I will connect this to here and this also connect this to the same terminal. The value of this resistor should be 2K, which you will uh, change later. Fine. This is the feedback for the inverting terminal from the output. Okay. So this has to be connected to the output, one end, other end to the ground. Later we will do that again because I need to connect, uh, I have to bring the ground. So this is available under the sources. Uh, ground, you can choose here. So fine, this I will uh, connect to the ground. I use one more uh, ground for this supply. Done. So let me connect uh, the switches now. Switches, one end of the switch. Okay, yeah, before that I think I have to rotate this because either zero or ground we have to connect. So let me rotate this. Okay, now one end of all the switches I will short together will be connected to the VCC or a supply and the reference voltage done oh sorry uh, this is wrong here one uh, I have connected this let me change okay done here the first first one second one should go to the ground that is zero we are applying the zero through this position okay so let me connect this okay uh, supply i will connect to the ground yes i take one junction i place it over here so through this i will connect to the switches and this is connected to the VCC. Now this should go to the inputs. So this is one input. This is second input. So much gap. Okay. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. The fourth input. So anyway, this has to be connected to the ground. So let me connect over here. Okay, so this is again to the ground. Now value have to, has to be changed to 2K. So this is 2K. Okay. Sorry, I'm asleep. This is 2K. Done. So let me save this project. <coughs> I'll give a name as uh, DAC new because I already have a file there. DAC new. Okay, done. Now let me run this, check whether I'll get output or not. Okay, so I'm getting a zero volt because I think uh, everything is connected to the ground. Now what I'll get? I am getting 0.75 okay I should be getting a 0.35 something like that okay so because that is because uh, my reference voltage was uh, 5 volt which I selected earlier in my description now we have this 12 volt so let me make it uh, 5 volt 
then I will I will uh, check the output. Okay, now now everything is zero. This is uh, okay. Both are connected over here. So this is 0.312. See, I am expecting a 0.375 uh, something like that. I think the description as I told here. Yeah. Okay, just as the stop the simulation just to confirm with my answer whether it is matching or not in the description in the description for 0001 it should be 0.3125 right now what i am getting is 0.312 so it is exactly matching with the expected answer so let me change the numbers now i will 0001 i'll make it 00 10 0.625 0011 0.937 is matching with uh, my table you can check that 0100 1.25 very good 0101 1.562 i'll go to the last uh, condition that is 1111 and let me check whether i'm getting output or not for 4.6 something i have to get yes it is matching with my expected uh, output 4.687. So I'm giving 0 or 1 over here through the switches and it's converted into equivalent analog output. So I have used uh, switches as digital input. What we can do is we can uh, use a counter here 7493 say 4 bit counter mod 16 counter and uh, as the counter states changes accordingly the output also changes. So which I have already uh, I have done here this connection I have made already. So same uh, R to R DAC. I have used a digital meter. I have also used a uh, CR to uh, show the output. This is my counter. I see. Just look at this. This is a 7493 counter which has uh, input A, input B. Both are clocks basically. These four are the outputs. This is a reset pin. I am not using a reset pin, so I will connect that to the ground because it is active high. And uh, pin number 12 and 1 is shorted. Uh, 4, 14 is a clock. Okay, for a mod 16 counter. It is a mod 2 multiply by mod 5 counter basically. Four outputs are there. This is MSB, this is LSB, so MSB is connected to this point, LSB is connected to the last point. Uh, the output of this counter, the output of the counter is a uh, source for this uh, circuit. That means they will provide either 0 or 1 as the input, digital input for my R2R uh, DAC. So I have used the switch as clock. There is also a clock signal, both I am uh, using here, just to, I will tell you the difference between this because this changes continuously and this uh, according to my wish, I can apply a clock signal over there with 12 volt supply and 10 volt supply I have chosen. Let, just me show, uh, let me show you the output for this. Uh, now it is 0. Okay, now I have used a clock pulse, this uh, clock pulse as the input. So as the input is changing, the output is also changing over here. If I observe a waveform, just look at this. Just look at this. I am getting a staircase type of uh, waveform here because okay, suddenly once it reaches a high voltage, say uh, 1111, my input, it reaches a 4.6 something voltage and suddenly comes back to zero. It starts again. It's a cycle restarts. It's a staircase type of waveform. What I am actually getting over here. So I can modify this also. Okay, anyway, if you want to see it properly, just okay. As you can see over there, this is changing. This is continuously changing something. Like this. If you want to observe the voltage, that is also possible. See now, I have kept somewhere uh, here. Uh, I use. Uh, this one okay so what is the voltage i start with uh, say i start with uh, this one this is 312.498 that is 0.3125 millivolts second second set 0010 uh, the output changes to what 625 millivolt that is 0 0.625 volts is continuously changing just look at the uh, axis there Okay, now when I reach a last highest possible voltage, see this, I reach a last condition 1111, it is 4.687 volt. This is the highest possible voltage what I can get. Now, uh, if uh, this is, if you believe that this is changing very fast and I cannot observe uh, uh, or I can, cannot take the reading by using this multimeter, what you can do is, you can disconnect this clock signal and use the switch as clock. So, as and when I apply a clock, then only the output changes. Okay, again, I started with a 0. I apply a first clock pulse, it is 1. So, I should get uh, the output voltage. See, 0.312 volts. It is not changing now. So, when I apply a clock again, 
see this is given to the clock counter counter is supplying a 0010 to the circuit and it is changed into uh, analog output voltage see just okay go on changing the input so this is this uh, hex display i'm using just to show the output of this uh, uh, now the 7493 counter so it is a 30011 4567 just okay the output is changing okay it takes a bit time actually to produce the actual output for that particular input yes 8 9 something like that 2.812 right i'll go to the last condition last state that is f because it's a hex display okay one more yes yes 4.687 whatever i observed in the cro same voltage or whatever i did in the last case by using switches same output voltage i am getting here so this is uh, r to r dac the rest of values are r r to r so the digital input is converted into the analog output thank you for watching this video